Hello everyone. Welcome to the workshop SQL Parent System. Solve SQL queries confidently. I am so excited to have you all in the workshop. I am Nitin Shrivastava. I am a founder of etlsql.com. I have over 15 years of professional experience into data and analytics. I have worked on SQL from my day one, and even today I write SQL queries. And I have taken thousands of SQL interviews during my career, and I have also given a few. So I have seen both sides of the table. So if you have any questions or you want to connect after the workshop, then drop me an email at support at etlsql dot com. Since you have joined the workshop, I really want you to stay tuned till the end because there is a special offer for you. Now, since you have joined the workshop, the first thing you should want to know is, is it for you or not? If you already know SQL, but you are still finding it difficult to solve SQL queries, then this workshop is for you. This is not a SQL beginner workshop where I'll be teaching you all the SQL commands from scratch. I assume that you already know SQL and you are facing some challenges in solving SQL queries. So you know what is insert, you know what is update, you know what is delete, you know what is joins. But even when you know all these things, you struggle to solve SQL queries during interviews or during your day-to-day -day task. You feel scattered and overwhelmed. Like you are asked to solve SQL query during interview and you have no idea about your first step. So given a problem statement and you are like clueless what to do now. I am reading SQL question again and again but I don't know where to start. So if that's you, then this workshop is for you. You feel so uncomfortable working in your SQL job that you feel like changing your profession. If SQL has become a roadblock for you and it gives you an impression that okay it's very hard and you get the feeling that okay I won't be able to learn SQL and grow in my career I better choose some other profession or choose a different technology then this workshop is definitely for you. Sometimes you just wish that you can find a productivity or a strategic system that works for you. You want to look at a bigger picture. What business problems are you solving by writing SQL queries rather than focusing most of your time in your daily SQL task. So what you will learn today in part one, we'll quickly go through the SQL pattern system. It's a simple blueprint that breaks SQL problems into known groups. And when you know those groups, you know what SQL queries to use to solve those groups. In part two, we'll talk about the maze approach. It's an innovative solution to move back from answer to question that helps in taking the accurate first few steps. Like if you have solved the maze, we generally have an entry point and then an exit point where you move from exit towards the entry to determine which is the correct path. Something similar you can use in SQL also, like when you already know what is the expected output and you are starting from a SQL problem, the expected output can help you in determining what will be your first few steps. And in part 3, we will talk about SQL breakdown structure. It's a unique technique to break complex SQL problems into small chunks, solve and integrate small parts to get the final output. Before we dive in, I want to share my story with you so you know how I got here and I learned everything I am about to share with you. Like many of you, I also found it hard to master SQL queries. I've been working on SQL for the last 15 years and I'm very comfortable now. But at the start of my career, I used to look into my senior codes to find similar logic so that I can copy and reuse it. Rather than building the business concepts, all I was doing is just going to the code repository, looking at my senior codes and then copying it and using it in my projects. I admit that I found it hard to convert business requirements into SQL code. So when I started my career, we used to get source to target mapping from the analyst or the data modelers or the business analysts in the team. And that source to target mapping was typically in Excel files where all the columns of the source and the targets will be mentioned along with the business rules. And we have to convert it into SQL. For a while, I was able to get by without being too specific about my SQL skills. Then I was given a project to own and deliver. 
So it was a, not a very big project. It was a small project where I was creating a new pipeline from a new source and I have to load a data mart table. And I was given, that was my very first project which was given to me and I was assigned as the owner for that project. And trust me, it was a hot mess. I didn't upskill enough and I was not prepared for that opportunity. I had no blueprint or strategy in place. I was using a random mix of SQL codes, asking different team members the same question to get the answer. I was stressed out, overwhelmed and frustrated. I was not able to deliver that project and some senior has to pitch in to help me to deliver it. And I saw I would never do that again. I finally discovered patterns in SQL and figure out how to make it work for me. And when I did this, I actually felt like I had control of my project. In my next project, I was able to convert business requirements into SQL queries very easily. This time, when the second project was given to me, things ran smoothly, everything got done, I woke up knowing exactly what I needed to do each day. So earlier it was like it was kind of a struggle for me. That okay, tomorrow I don't know what to do, which team member to go and ask, how to solve this problem. The business problems were not clear. But once I started working towards the patterns, then I was able to relate it with the SQL queries. And this time my project was successful. Now I'm excited to share this blueprint with you all. Imagine that feeling where you have peace of mind knowing you know SQL and can solve SQL queries confidently. Being able to work on your business requirements and deliver projects. Easier career growth as you will start exhibiting much better technical skills. Let's start with step 1, SQL pattern system. This will allow you to associate your business problems into already known SQL groups with proven solutions. This is how the SQL pattern system looks like right now. So you see here, I have already made a lot of groups like where order by limit. You see there is a blue box around it. It means that these three SQL commands, the where, order by and limit work together to solve a lot of business problems. Similarly, the group by having an aggregate functions work together to solve a lot of business problems. In each SQL command, you will see there are subcategories. Like in join, you can see there is left plus null condition. Now this condition is mostly used whenever there is a business requirement to find a record which exists in one table and does not exist in another table. We are often told that cross join is very bad, but do you know cross join with a one row, one column table can be used as a variable in plain LC SQL. So all these small, small things, once you know, you observe, it makes a big impact. And that's how SQL pattern system came into the picture. When I started mapping my business requirement with my SQL code, I came up with this. And the best part of SQL pattern system is you can continue to grow this library depending on your personal experience. The step two is the maze approach, where I already said we work backwards to determine the first few steps. And this is how the maze approach looks. So if you already know your input, you already know your output and you just have to draft a SQL query to get the desired output from the given input, then this table will come into the picture and it will help you a lot. So in this example, I have explained that if you have 10 rows in input and 10 columns in input, then if you want to increase the number of rows or decrease the number of rows, or you want to increase the number of columns or decrease the number of columns in the final output, what all SQL commands can help you? For example, if you have 10 rows in the input and you want 5 rows in the output, where command can help you. But if you want 15 rows in the output, the where command won't be able to help you as where generally keeps the rows same or lesser than the input. Moving on to the step 3, which is SQL breakdown structure. It helps you divide complex SQL problems into smaller chunks. There are five steps as part of a core solution of SQL breakdown structure. We look for keywords to integrate. You create derived tables. 
you identify derived columns, you generate derived columns, and you revisit the output to see if it is the most efficient and accurate solution. To give you a high level overview of SQL breakdown structure, there are some English keywords that hold a lot of significance in SQL also. Like whenever you hear a word each, all, some, few, you should think about where on join conditions. Like for few customers who have placed order. Now as soon as you hear the word few, the where or join condition should come into your mind. Similarly, whenever you hear sort, top, ascending, descending, only think about order plus limit by combination or a where condition. One important aspect of SQL breakdown structure is you have to identify and generate derived columns. And from my personal experience, I have seen derived columns are generally created using these five approaches. Either there will be a case statement, there will be an aggregate function or a window function, a string manipulation or a number manipulation. To recap, here is all the ways you will master SQL with this process. You will be able to associate business requirements with SQL components. You will not be in a situation when you can't think what to do next when given a SQL problem. You will have not one, but three proven SQL strategies in place to help you solve SQL problems. Isn't it amazing? Here's why you will be able to enjoy the SQL learning process. You will work on business requirements, not just stuck with your SQL task. You will be more strategic in solving SQL problems. You can continue to extend these blueprints as per your personal experience. It's time to take control of your data and analytics career and master SQL without feeling stressed or overwhelmed. I have a program that is going to make achieving this so much easier. Introducing SQL Pattern System. Solve SQL queries confidently. Once you enroll into this course, you will get a detailed explanation of all these three strategies. There is a Notion template with hand-picked SQL queries for each pattern. Exclusive community and support. You can directly reach out to me via Teams or a group. And you get lifetime access to the course with free future upgrades. So if you enroll into this course, you will get a limited time discount if you have any questions related with the topics or the workshop, feel free to drop an email.